Hi everyone, it's Evelyn here from Visible Thread. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Many of you want to be part of the COVID-19 relief and the need is great. RFPs, solicitations and contract opportunities are published daily. You want to react quickly and this means making informed bid, no bid decisions and if you decide to go for it, understanding all requirements reliably and fast. Once you've made the decision to bid, you can use VT Docs to shred the RFP in minutes and get to work on your compliance matrix. Let me show you how. This is the solicitation that we're going to use today. And I'm going to upload it into my folder by taking a quick action. Here we go. Now that our document is uploaded, I can either work with the shortcut button here uh, and shred my documents in minutes or work with the quality analysis tab. Here I'm going to click create compliance matrix and shred this document. We have a number of customization elements here. You can split by sentence or paragraph and ignore pages completely. This would be great for people who are looking to only shred section L and M and maybe section C. But today we're just going to go uh, ahead and shred everything and generate the matrix. While we wait, you can see here that we can also create responsibility matrices and use different search dictionaries. The shred is complete. And here is our Excel document. You can get to work on creating your compliance matrix right now. The full text of the solicitation is in column F, content. We use a keyword dictionary to highlight sections of the RFP that may be important or may require action on your part. For example, this keyword dictionary contains terms such as will, shall, must, and provide. You can see keywords highlighted in red uh, font and in yellow rows. Rows not highlighted may still contain important text, so you can read through them here as well. If you're not familiar with VTDocs dictionaries, these are customizable collections of key terms that you want your compliance matrix to be built on. They can even be based on FARs and DFARs. So check out our video section for more on dictionaries. In these busy times, we're not limited to shredding one doc at a time. You can include multiple documents. This is especially useful when you want to shred the main solicitation and other documents such as the SOW, PWS, appendix, attachments, and exhibits. So we go back to creating a compliance matrix, but we're simply going to select shred multiple documents in this folder. Earlier, I uploaded a second example, and here we have sections in different documents. So I'm going to select section C, and I also want to take a look at section L and M, which sit in a different document, but I want to shred them together. Click next. And again, we have some customization opportunities. I can choose to have everything in one Excel document or on separate tabs. We're going with separate tabs. We can still ignore text if we wish, but we're just going to go ahead here and click generate matrix. I've used the same dictionary for both documents, but you can choose different ones if you wish. A shred is complete. And here you can see in the first tab, section C, with all content in column F, just as before. And here, the second tab contains section L and M, just as we had indicated, again, with all content in column F. If we had asked the solution to exclude paragraphs, they would have shown in the following tabs. But as we went ahead and shredded everything, all content is right here. These document shreds didn't take more than a few minutes to create. And now you can get to work on your response. I hope you found this video useful. Till next time. Bye.